Welcome or welcome back champions. Today we are going to start a new topic that is financial intermediaries. Now what are intermediaries? Let's understand this. The topic is divided into two subtopics that is financial and intermediaries. Financial means related to finance. Intermediary means the one who is an intermediate that is a link between the two. So financial intermediary can be an institution, organization or individual who act as an intermediation between two parties. So there are two or more parties that are included in financial intermediation. So the first one is the giver and second one is the taker of an activity. So first party is the provider and second one is the consumer. So intermediary intermediation between two parties. Financial intermediary is typically an institution that channelizes the funds between lenders and borrowers. Lenders, the parties who lend, that is provider. Borrower who needs the fund, that is consumer. Let us discuss some types of financial intermediaries. First are commercial banks such as SBI, State Bank of India, HDFC. That is banks are type of financial intermediaries. This we can understand by our day to day life. Like the persons, suppose we common public, we have our savings, we go and deposit it to the bank and other person who needs finance can go there and ask in the form of loans or otherwise he can take his savings back. Banks act as a financial intermediaries. Next kind is development banks. These are another kind of banks. This is IDBI. I, ICICI, these are the banks which are included in development bank. Next are financial advisors. Now, who are financial advisors? If, if we talk in our common language, we term them as brokers. The persons who give advice related to financial decisions that a person takes and can make his decisions accordingly. Now, next financial intermediary is insurance companies such as LIC, Life Insurance Corporation. This we can learn as different financial intermediary also. Or we can include it under insurance companies also. So these are the companies that provide financial security and act as an intermediary between a common person who is going to take this insurance and the person or the companies or the firms who are providing those insurance. Next are mutual fund. These are also financial intermediaries that act as an intermediation between lenders and borrowers. Next are pension funds. Suppose if we take an example of government institution. So they do provide pension to some of their workers. So they act as an intermediation between the finance and the pensions given by government to the persons working under their organizations. Next is credit union. So credit unions are the finance providers who act as an intermediate between the person who need loans and the persons who are having access or the organizations who are available with extra fund to lend it to the borrowers help of credit unions. So here our topic financial intermediaries and its types is completed. If you found this video helpful please like share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.